Okay, so we have an extension cord that we have cut. We have taken the black wire out of the extension cord, which is the hot, and we have wired it to this. This is how we're going to electrify the water. Okay, so before you use the unit and actually test, you need to make sure the arms are in the down position and you need to actually test the unit to make sure it's working and that the continuity is between the two probes. So what you do, you turn the unit on with the toggle switch, you put this switch to unit test, stick it in the water, and then you hit the button right here that says unit test. And if you hear the beeping sound, that means you've got continuity. So it tells you two things that everything's working in the system and that the battery's fine. So you're good to go on with the test to check for electricity in the water. Okay, so the other test feature is voltage to ground. And when you have access that you can plug an extension cord, uh, or even if you're close enough that you can plug in, this comes with the canary. Uh, if, you can, if you can plug into an outlet, and then we have an adapter, and it's only got one wire coming from it. Um, and this wire, it just, we're only utilizing one wire. It's connected to ground, and then this goes into the canary. So what we're plugging in here, we're not plugging in any power. We're just doing an earth ground. I'm plugging this in here. And so what this does, if you have an outlet and you're checking a pool, if you're checking a marina or somewhere in open water, uh, and you don't have some place to plug in, then you're gonna use the direction and you're gonna have to spot check and rotate it around. With this one, with the voltage to ground, so we're hooked up to ground right now. So if there is any stray current in here, the water's not very conductive. If we stick these probes in here, this provides the path of least resistance for the electricity to go to. So when we did the direction, you know, we had to get real close to the power source over there to see anything. on the voltage to ground as soon as we check and put it in we're getting it so 3.76 volts you see when we do that it doesn't change as you rotate it because actually this is only going to one of the probes down here uh, if we get over here closer 11. There's almost 20 volts. So that's the difference. So based on the situation where you're at, you can do the direction of the voltage to ground. Okay, so for this test, we don't, let's just assume that we're in a situation where we don't have the ability, or we don't have an outlet that we can plug in and get to earth ground. So in that case, we're gonna do direction. So put it to direction, turn it on. Let's assume we've already gone through the unit test. So now we're ready to try it out. We're at a pool, we're in a hurry, and we're just gonna check. So there's no voltage in the water here, but when you're on the direction, you have to turn it 90 degrees to see if there's anything. Sometimes it's even easier holding it like this. So let's walk around the pool. And wherever you check it, you've got to rotate it around because what, when you're on the direction test, it's checking for the voltage across the two probes. So if you're in line with the voltage, that's where you get your highest reading. If you're perpendicular to the voltage, it's going to read zero. Let's keep walking. So you got to walk, find a spot, rotate it around. Don't have any voltage there. No voltage there. Let's 
starting to get a little bit of reading. That looks a little higher, so let's go a little bit further. Let's go down here, see what we got. One, well, looky there. So we do have some current in the water. So when I turn that way, and I, as I rotate around, as you can see, there's the source. And as I get the probes in line with the source, that's when the voltage goes up the highest. So when I'm at this point right here. So let's just keep working our way down, assuming this was maybe murky water and you couldn't see the source. Okay, so now looky there when we stick it in. There's one point, rotate around, getting higher, 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 1.6. Now we're starting to go down again. So right here, that's our highest voltage. And as you can see, we're lined up. There's our source and the probes are apart from it. So as we get closer, our voltage increases. So we've identified the source of the electricity. So let's say you've checked a pool and you haven't found anything. It's a good practice to always do the unit test again to make sure that the unit, that the canary is working properly. So let's go through the test again. So we're going to turn it, we're going to swap, switch to unit test, turn it on. It doesn't matter which order you do that. You could, you could, you know, you could have it turned on and then switch to unit test. So we're going to stick this in the water. Not really reading anything, but let's hit our unit test button, and now we do. And so there we go, 7.6, that's checking the voltage. Remember, it's got a nine volt battery on the inside of this. It's sending nine volts out, but it's actually reading 7.6 between the two probes, which sounds about right. So that's a fully charged battery. And then turn your unit off when you're done, ready for the next job.